All right, hey, it's Meg here. So I, I apologize for the steering wheel on the, in front of the camera, but I'm here in my RAV4 Prime, so I'm gonna be shooting a lot of, of vlogs from here <laughs> for the next coming days. Uh, so uh, this day was like my first day at work for UPS. <laughs> so um, today was like orientation day. And so I'm just gonna kind of go how, how that went and how this whole application thing works works out. Um, so Hayes Mega worked as a seasonal driver many many years ago all right and they actually let me drive the bit the brown package cars to deliver the packages and it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it um it was a lot of hard work but it was rewarding <laughs> so i say all right and then uh so what was it um so my buddy told me about this job the seasonal uh personal vehicle delivery driver all right um that's where you use your own vehicle and you deliver packages for ups it's like oh that's kind of cool it's kind of like yeah you're doing your own thing with your vehicle <laughs> and and as it's only it's it's seasonal so it's only going to be for like a month and i decided hey let's go use the rav4 prime for it i think that's like the perfect vehicle um i've delivered packages in a prius before um in one of my old jobs and and the prius is a great delivery vehicle uh, I mean, other than like, yeah, it's kind of small to deliver packages and stuff, but you could do it. And um, and the hybrid system makes it awesome. Like you don't have to shut the car off or anything, you know, it doesn't stay idling. You know, you hop in, you deliver the package, you come back, you know, and I already do that for DoorDash too, by the way. So that's how I know it's a good vehicle for this. <laughs> so so today was my first day. It was the orientation. Uh, what happened? Uh, so. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of like unorganized. <laughs> so I filled out uh, a job application online at upsjobs.com um, for a seasonal, it's called seasonal PVD, personal vehicle delivery driver or, or personal vehicle driver. And then, um, and then yeah, you just have to fill out all the forms and they do a background check. You have to like sign some stuff digitally and stuff. And, uh, and then yeah. And then they pretty much say, "Hey, we have we're hiring. We have immediate positions available." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, sign me up." You know, yeah, it's UPS, man. They need help. It's it. So right right now, it's December third. All right, that's that's when I'm shooting this video. So it's pretty much right after you know Black Friday. So all the all the craziness is gonna start happening like now. <laughs> so I'll say, all right, um, yeah. So so they think you need like a lot of help. So they're gonna need a lot of drivers. This. This uh, position pays $38 an hour. So that's, that's one of the reasons I did it, all right? It pays a lot of money. And then I just saw, like, if you get overtime, you get paid $57 an hour. Holy moly. Like, oh, well, and I think it's dependent on, like, the the region you're in, right? I'm in San Jose, California. So so I guess the pay is pretty good here because it costs a lot to live here. Um, and, yeah, and we're going to be doing it with the RAV4 Prime. Yeah. <laughs> so... I kind of kind of give you a, a rundown of how the first day went. So I I've been getting these emails saying, "Hey, you signed up, or you need to fill out these applications on the internet." And I so I fill out the applications, and it says, "You're you're scheduled for your first day at work uh, on December third, 10 a.m." And it says something about a virtual tour, something virtual, something something, and then uh, what's the word? Um, uh, yeah, and it, and it. It says like it's an orientation event. I'm like, okay, so, and but they don't give you an address, all right. And basically, all it said and all it said in the email was, bring work boots, all right, or or leather boots. And I was like, leather boots, dude. Did I have to wear that before? You know, I remember like, yeah, man. Like, I think you had to like shave all the time when I was a driver. And then like, I I was still in the army at the time. I didn't have all this hair, so they might have said something. about I don't think they're they're stressing that much on, on for seasonal employees. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I I think I remember I I bought a pair of boots. I bought a pair of leather boots boots just for this job back in the days and i i find i found them i was like i was like oh that's why I, now i remember why i bought these it was to work for ups that's why i still have these boots like so so yeah and then um so i still use these uh these boots that i got that i think i bought them at like walmart a long time ago <laughs> so yeah so i i threw those on because it says you have to wear boots so i'm like okay so sure enough 
when I show up to the orientation with all the other people, they're wearing boots too. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of weird. Hayes maybe would deliver stuff in his Crocs, you know, if he had to. The good thing about boots, though, is that they're not slippery when it rains because Crocs are super slippery when it rains, okay? <laughs> um, and then, uh, so... So they, I didn't know where to go. They, it's, they said to bring your forms of ID, all right? And uh, what they really wanted was a driver's license and a social security card. Um, that's all I needed for a day. <laughs> I just want to say, okay. Um, and then uh, what else? And it says just to be there on time. So, okay. And, but the thing is, like, I didn't even know, I didn't even know where to, uh, to go. Um, so I, I knew where the package center was in San Jose. So I, I assume it was there. And, uh, and like I called, I called the recruitment. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, let me, let me talk about how the, the job interview went. <laughs> um, you're supposed to call them and you do a job interview like all over the phone sort of kind of. Uh, so they said somebody's supposed to call you and then you do an interview and nobody ever called me. <laughs> Maybe I never answered. I don't know, man. But uh, so I wound up calling them. I called the uh, and it, it, they give you a time. They're, they tell you a time that when somebody's when you're going to do a phone interview. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You were supposed to do a phone interview. So at that time, nobody freaking called me. So I called them. And then so, like, oh, yeah, we can we can start the job interview process right now. Um, so that that's what would that's what I did. I, we we did. I did the job interview on the Internet. I did the job interview on the internet and they said like, Hey, you're, and then that's, so that's when I got that orientation date. All right. So that the today, December 3rd, 2021 was when we did the, uh, um, when I did the orientation. So, so yeah, that was supposed to be my first day of work after I filled out all the forms and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, they don't tell you what the freak, freaking, uh, where to go. <laughs> so what the heck? There's no address on, on the thing. It just says virtual event. I was like virtual. Okay. And then, uh, and then what happened? Um, I called them, I called them and say, Hey, I don't know where to go for the orientation. And then and they're like, yeah, we don't. And they're like, yeah, we, we, um, somebody's going to send an email to you or they're going to let you know. And I got nothing, dude. <laughs> so, so unorganized is what I'm going to say. All right. And then, uh, what happened next? Um, so I, I just kind of put two and two together. All right. Um, I looked at the address. I looked at the zip code for the event because they actually give you a zip code, but they didn't give you an address. So, so sure enough, I uh, I look up. I look at where the package center is. It's on Seventh Street in San Jose, and and it's the same zip code. I was like, oh, okay. We're, we're gonna do a shot in the dark, and we're just gonna go there at the appointed time. That's what I say. Okay. So, so that so that's what I do. I I raffle prime. Fully charged. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to the orientation. I get there at like uh, 9.30. I'm supposed to be there at 10. So I got there too early. But it's better to be earlier than late, right? It says be on time, right? So I, and so you go to the guard. I went to the guard check and then I signed in. Um, I, I talked to the guard and they're like, oh, you're your PVD, personal vehicle driver. Yeah, that's me. And then, uh, and so I, you got to put your name on a clipboard because you're, you're like a guest or something, <laughs> I guess. And then, uh, and then what happens? Uh, and then, and then I waited there till like about 10 o'clock and then some lady came in from human resources, I guess, and came and got us all. There are about mm, 20 of us. All right. I'm surprised there's still so they're hiring, still hiring so many drivers, um, this late in the year. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, because like pretty much the seasonal driver help, uh, position, it ends like in early January. All right. Somewhere in January is when they're gonna let you go. That's <laughs> what I'll say, because I've done it before, and um, and then yeah, so so like uh, I, we follow them into the package center, and then we I go in a computer. They they put you down on a computer. All right, only certain only a certain amount of people can can be in there at a time because the room's so small. Uh, and yeah, and we're it's, it's pandemic, so we're wearing masks too. So um, and. Um, and so I fill we I, we fill out a bunch of forms. All right, uh, I think one of them, well, one of them is like a, a terms of employment or something. It tells you how much you're gonna make, um, and you get paid on Friday. That's what it says. Um, like I said, it's thirty like thirty seven or thirty eight dollars an hour, and then fifty seven dollars overtime. I was like, holy moly, I'm gonna try to get that overtime <laughs> if I can, dude. 
and then they had the uh they had us fill out uh some some more forms that saying that like hey if you you're entitled to like one break if you work like six hours or something uh, one lunch break and then you get two lunch breaks if you work more than like 12 hours or something so so i had to sign that paperwork and then i had to sign another one about and then i had to fill out a, a teamster membership uh thing uh, on the internet okay so they had a little laptop there and then so i just fill out the form and you got to put your seasonal pvd and then you're and then you have to like you know get the membership into the um the, the teamster union <laughs> for for like the the month that i'll be working okay and then and then uh uh, and then I finished, I gave the lady my forms, oh, I, I gave her my uh, driver's license and um, social security number. Uh, no, I gave her my social security card, okay? And then they said like, yeah, you, so you're you're good to go, you're hired and everything, um, you need to go, and you need to go to this upsers.com, and you have to do the online training. <laughs> I was like, it's like two hours long and you'll get paid for it. I was like, oh, okay, sounds good to me. And and then she said like that's it you're done I was like really so and then and then I, I'm leaving and I check it but what how how long uh, the, uh, by the time it takes for me to get back to my car after um, it's like 10:30 so literally I was we were only, we were supposed to be there at 10 o'clock and I left at 10:30 so I was like damn it'll take like 30 minutes it was kind of cool I met some of the other people that were applying for the position uh, there was a dude that he did Amazon Flex um what else there was a guy there was a guy that actually worked for ups um and he, i think he was like working as a security guard or something also and he said he, he used to work at ups and he quit or something and you see he came back to just uh to try the pvd position out so it's pretty cool um in my case i worked for ups as a seasonal driver like many years ago so that was about it and I did apply one. I here's the story. I applied one time, and my uh, it was right after I broke my foot in a motorcycle accident, and so uh, we're I, I applied for a driver helper position. That's the those are those uh, the helpers that get in and out of the truck, delivering help deliver packages for the driver, um, so you know they can get more work done. And um, sure enough, uh, oh yeah, I didn't get the job because I told them like, oh yeah, my foot kind of hurts after like a long periods of time standing and stuff. And I think they did. That's why they didn't hire me because I told them that I was like, I shouldn't have said anything, man. <laughs> so yeah, they didn't hire me for that position, but they did hire me for the driver position there. I guess that year they were, they needed drivers really bad and they really, they just start hiring anybody off the street that could drive a manual transmission, you know, as a driver <laughs> to deliver packages. And it was great. I enjoyed it. So, um, yeah. And then, um, and then, yeah, so that, so that, that is my kind of background with UPS. All right. It's been a long time since I've, uh, I'm a DoorDash and like Uber driver right now. And it's been a long time since I've, uh, had an employer. Okay. So what I'm going to say, I've been doing this gig, gig stuff for a while now. And, and I like it, you know, uh, I like being my own boss, you know, I can work whenever I want to work type of thing. That's what, that's why I enjoy about it. And, and I, I was just like, man, I have to be here at a certain time and, you know, the clock in and clock out and I have to take my own lunch breaks. I have, I have to take lunch breaks and stuff, you know, um, with DoorDash, you say, yeah, you just stop working. I go home and I eat, you know, that's type of thing. And then I come back to work, you know, whenever I'm ready. Uh, yeah, it's like, I like, I like that lifestyle, man, where you're your own boss. Um, I was in the army many years, you know, and yeah it's you got to be at the at this at this place at this time in this uniform you know that kind of stuff at, that's you know i kind of got tired of that stuff man <laughs> after doing it for so long and, and this gig life is is so nice man it and it, it's so stress-free i was gonna say but you know what i i'm doing this seasonal pvd thing to to make a lot of money i, I need to make some money and and so 38 dollars an hour that's some good money could you make that doing doordash you know what you might be able to make that very yeah you might be able to make 38 dollars an hour but that's like a big maybe all right uh, i'm the least i make the least i try to sh try to make is like 15 dollars an hour and yeah you can make like 30 dollars an hour doing doordash if you're lucky okay it, it's it's a dependent on luck and how much work there is out there so 
Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go try this thing out. I'll just shoot a couple vlogs every day, how, how, how everything went, um, but today was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> so say, I thought we were gonna have like a job, some kind of job training or orientation. We're gonna watch some kind of video. Or we're gonna have a tour of the, the facility, that kind of stuff. No, it was just like we just filled out a bunch of paperwork and that was it. And then, and then you go home and you do training, you know, you gotta go think. I, I probably, maybe I could have done it on my phone, you know, but it's like, I, I guess that's that's it. They said uh, my supervisor is something. Somebody's gonna contact me, so that's uh, that's what I'll wait for. But I guess I have to I have to go. I'm gonna. So this is what's gonna happen for the rest of the day. Um, I'm gonna go up to my room, turn my computer on, or I'm gonna go up to my office, turn my computer on, and do this online training. <laughs> the, the sooner I get this stuff done, and the sooner I can start working, the sooner we can start making money. All right, Ace Vega needs to go make some money. All right. Is we go. Oh yeah, by the way, so uh, when if, if you're a personal delivery driver, um, I guess you can use pretty much any vehicle, I'm not sure, but um, we're gonna use the RAV4 Prime because it's like an EV, save me some gas, definitely save me some gas. Um, and uh, it's better than a Prius, it's got more space than a Prius and, it can ha and it's got beefier suspension. <laughs> That's why I think this would make a better delivery vehicle, okay. Um, and it's kind of nice because it's actually pretty nice because it's not very big. So you can't like just throw a crap ton of packages in it. Um, so you can kind of like sort the packages a little bit in there. It's not super duper big like a minivan. Like a minivan. <laughs> so I had a minivan before and when you fill it up, it's hard to find stuff. It's the same thing with the package cars, man. When the package cars are full, it's hard to sort the packages. Because like, they just kind of just throw everything in there. But anyway, they said they didn't want any kind of logos on the car. So that's that's why I have this uh, tape over the Uber logo right here. Okay. Um, also the uh, yeah I took the sticker off the front. So so I, I don't I haven't been doing any Uber for a while. So I took the stickers off. They don't want any kind of logos on your car. Okay. It's got to look. But the good thing is like um, you kind of want your vehicle to look like a normal vehicle because the because um, a, a package thieves and stuff. Okay. So that that's why you don't want to have that. Um, if you're like in a, you're kind of like a target, you know, if you're in a UPS vehicle, because then they'll know like, oh, hey, I'm going to steal those packages that the uh, UPS guys are delivering, you know, that type of thing. <laughs> so, so in this, you're pretty, you're, you're pretty stealthy. You don't know, you really know that you're delivering packages. And the good thing about this vehicle is it has some, I like a privacy glass, so it's kind of dark, you know, you can see one side, this one is clear and this one is kind of tinted, you know. So you kind of can't see the packages inside unless you were really came up to the car. So, okay, yeah. So that's a, that's a little background on the vehicle that I'm using for uh, PVD Toyota Rav4 Prime. We'll see how it does. All right, here we go.